OK, uh, so this will be our first lab. Uh, so I'm going to show you from the beginning, uh, from the beginning that we're going to use AppStream because not everyone has a Windows computer. So uh, I set up a virtual lab on AppStream. So we have to log into AppStream first. However, so if you have ArcGIS Pro installed on your own computer, you, you just can go ahead and open your ArcGIS Pro. So here I'm going to log into my app stream. So you should have your password and also um, email that set up the app stream. Um, and then you can see I have pre-installed uh, so many tools. So for this class, we're going to use ArcGIS Pro. So let's click ArcGIS Pro. Uh, so the only difference between AppStream and also your desktop version is that uh, by using AppStream, uh, everything is uh, the lab is uh, in the cloud, so that you can use you can finish the lab by using your browser. So no matter you are using Mac computer or you are using a Windows computer. So for the first time to start AppStream, it will take like uh, about two minutes. Uh, so you can pause your video here and also wait until your app stream is ready. Okay, uh, so now it is loading the application. OK, so now you can see ArcGIS Pro just started. Uh, so first, we have to log in with our account. Uh, so we need to log in with our GMU account. So you can type GMU as our organization's URL or uh, any URL that you have the license. Uh, I would remember this URL, so next time I don't need to type it again. And I hit continue. Uh, so now you can see, OK, I'm going to log in with my GMU. Um, OK, uh, so here just type my GMU ID and also my GMU password. And I don't want to remember that one. OK, and I need to authorize this login. Uh, so you can see, so ArcGIS Pro is different from ArcMap. So you, if you have used ArcMap before, so Arc, ArcGIS Map, ArcMap requires a license. Uh, ArcGIS Pro can just allow you to log in uh, with a cloud license. And once we logged in, you can see here I logged in with my uh, GMU account. And here you can see I can create different maps or uh, different projects. Or I can open an existing project here. And also there are some settings. OK. Uh, one difference from the desktop version is that how can you uh, save data uh, by using your cloud uh, 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 app stream. So in app stream, you can organize a folder here. So here you can see I'm, I already connected my OneDrive folder to app stream. So in my app stream, I can just create a new folder um, that is can, that will save data to my OneDrive. Uh, so if you do not know how to connect OneDrive to your uh, app stream, you can check my previous video, or you can use a home folder. So home folder is um, it's just a cloud folder that will save everything into this app stream desktop. You can see here those are the previous uh, data set that I um, that I have saved here on the app stream. I would recommend using OneDrive so that you will save everything to your OneDrive folder. You can access your data that uh, to your local computer by using OneDrive. 
Um, however, if you do not know, if you have problems in saving data to your OneDrive, uh, you can try use home folder. Okay, so I'm going to go to my OneDrive and go to the files. Uh, so before I start, I will create a new folder for this semester. So I call it um, GOG and also fall 2020. Okay, and inside this uh, folder, I want to create another folder for this lab. So I want to say, uh, I just call it lab one. Okay, so then I will save everything to my lab one folder. You can see you can also upload data to your OneDrive or to the AppStream uh, local drive or cloud drive. So on AppStream. Okay, so I close that one. And then I'm going to create my first project. So the project will contain uh, a lot of stuff like the map, the data, um, etc. So I just choose a map template. Um, for the project name, I will call it Lab One. Uh, so and then. Uh, ArcGIS Pro is asking that where do you want to save your project? So I want to save that project to the folder that I just created. So that is uh, in my computer. And I believe that is AppStream users. And, and now if you go to um, my files yeah it's it's a little bit tricky and now you can see those three folders that i we saw earlier so we open one drive and files and now you can see the the new folder we just created okay <laughs> yeah so uh, i choose that one so lab one so now my first project will be saved to this folder. This folder is also the folder that um, of my OneDrive folder. OK, and now I say OK. Uh, so now ArcGIS Pro will just create a new project. OK, mm, so after a few minutes, so you can see now my project is created. Uh, so I can maximize my ArcGIS Pro. So, so, um, so now you can see everything will be the same. So if you are using a desktop version of the ArcGIS Pro, uh, so you can see on the left side. So this is the where that you can check your different data sets that is already in your project. Uh, in the middle, you can see the map. So now we have a map window that is open. So by default, ArcGIS Pro. Uh, now it's showing a base map. On the right side, that is a catalog. So the catalog contains help you organize all the data for you. So the map that we just created by default. Uh, if you have any tools, so if you in the future we're going to design some tools, so you can see the tool is here in the toolbox. And do you have any data set? So by default, ArcGIS Pro or create uh, geo database for you so that can help you organize your data and also the default styles that for the layers uh, and also this is the folder uh, so this folder shows exactly everything that they created in your, in your lab one folder uh, so you have the data database that's the same here and also toolbox uh, and also the locators um, so locators that depending on uh, what locators your um, uh, institution has uh, purchased so you may see there are different locators so those are locators for geocoding okay so uh, this one is free uh, and this one is not free so ArcGIS World Geocoding Service is not free so every time when you geocode some records so uh, um, there will be some credits that will be costed. So 
the project shows the local data. If you go to portal, and you can see that uh, the data that in the cloud in the ArcGIS Online. So those are my content that I saved on ArcGIS Online. So those are data that I already created and also saved in ArcGIS Online, which you can download directly into your local project. Uh, you can see groups. So those are the uh, groups in your institution or in your organization. So if you have, if you join some groups, you will see the groups that you have been joined. Uh, all portal. So right now it is empty. Um, and also Living Atlas. So Living Atlas is my favorite. So Living Atlas has a lot of great data resources. So you, in the past, we have to download data from sensors, uh, from USGIS, from different um, organizations, websites. But now ArcGIS Pro has this Living Atlas so that you can download the data directly uh, from different institutions or organizations. And there is even a category so that you can choose some different type of data. Um, and also my favorites. So this is of course where that you have favorite something that it all shows here. Uh, at the top, uh, those are pretty standard uh, menus. So uh, the map tab, so where you can see you can do the selections, um, add the base map, etc. You can also insert new data or new um, uh, layout, etc. Uh, in the analysis, you can perform different spatial analysis um, and the views, editing tab, uh, analysis for rest data, um, and also how you want to share your data. Okay, and also depending on the data that you selected. Uh, so there will be different additional tabs that will show up here. Okay, so that is a, a little introduction about the ArcGIS Pro. Um, let's try to add something to our project. Okay, so first let's uh, find out where we are. So let's click this locator tool. And let's see, we want to find out where the Harrisonburg is. Okay, and so you can see there are several Harrisonburgs. So let's choose the first one. Okay, so now you can see uh, the base map now focus on Harrisonburg. So that is what I tapped uh, an address of the city. And you can see that by using the ArcGIS World Geocoding Service, so ArcGIS now can locate where Harrisonburg is. Okay. Um, now we know that, okay, so this map shows uh, where the Harrisonburg is. And I want ArcGIS to remember this range, so this extent. So that is where we can add, add a bookmark. So here you can see, let's create a new bookmark. And I call it Harrisonburg. Okay, so next time if I want to come back to this view, I just simply go to my bookmark and I just cl uh, click Harrisonburg. Okay. And next, let's say we want to change um, the base map. So here, if you click the base map, you can see there are different styles of the base map. Uh, so let's say we want to choose imagery. Okay, uh, so now you can see now we are looking at the um, air photos of the Harrisonburg. Okay, and if you want to go back to the previous view, you can go to Bookmark and check Harrisonburg. So here, this is uh, uh, our previous view of the Harrisonburg. Okay, uh, next. Let's say we want to download some data. So let's go to catalog, 
so you can close the locator tool and in the living atlas and we change the catalog to environment and also we choose elevation okay so now you can see there are several elevation data set so some for specific area uh, some for the entire world so let's drag the word hill sheet uh, layer to our data set so you can just simply click that one and drag to our map and now you can see the word hill sheet is now uh, in our contents um, but we can now see the map that is beneath uh, the, the, the word imagery so that because word imagery is beneath a hill sheet okay so what we can do is that we can click the word hill sheet and drag that one beneath to the imagery okay and then if we go to our bookmark so we go back to the Harrisonburg uh, so we want to add some 3d effect uh, to our data set um, by adding the word hill sheet but right now you can see there's no difference and um, that is because the imagery totally blocked the word hill sheet so what we can do is that we can change the appearance so now you can see the word imagery is selected and if you go to the appearance and we can change the transparency so let's say we change that one to 50% and hit enter. Okay, uh, there might uh, no significant difference. So let's change that one to a little bit lower. So let's say 25%. Okay, so that kind of gave you a, a sense of 3D effect. So for example, if you uncheck that one, or check that one, okay, so give you a little bit sense of the 3D effect. Okay, again, this is an introduction to the uh, ArcGIS Pro. So the major purpose is to show you, get familiar with ArcGIS Pro. Okay, uh, let's go to our bookmark so we can change the appearance and we can add uh, more new data. Actually, if you look at the, mount, uh, the mountains the here, and you will see the difference. Okay, and yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Okay, so now we uh, have the base map and also we downloaded the hill sheet. Uh, so both maps are rust data. Okay, so those are uh, satellite images. And if you right click any of those layer and if you go to the source and the spatial reference and you can see that the coordination system they have been used. Uh, so for this one, the data has the PCS and also the GCS. Okay, the PCS um, and also the GCS. Okay, uh, so let's download another data set. So let's download a vector data set. So let's go to the living atlas again and categories. Uh, let's go to the boundaries and administrative. Okay, um, so let's look in let's look for the counties so US counties so you can see it here US county USA counties uh, if you cannot find that one you can just type the search and let's drag the US counties to our data set uh, to our project all right um, you can see that now we downloaded all the counties in United States Okay, we downloaded the, uh, the word hill sheet, hill sheet for the entire world, and then we downloaded all the counties for United States. So, but what if I just want the Harrisonburg? Okay, what if I just want the Harrisonburg? Uh, so if you, okay, 
you can see the Harrisonburg County. That was an error from the upstream. Uh, so you can see this is the Harrisonburg uh, city, actually. So what if I just want the Harrisonburg? So what we can do is that, so right now this is a vector data. And to be more specific, this is a polygon. So we can select by attributes. So for vector data, so GRS integrates spatial data with non-spatial data. Um, and then we want to select Harrisonburg. So Harrisonburg is a name. So select type. We want to select based on US counties. This will be a new selection. And we have to define the expression where we want to say OK. Um, the OK, and now you can choose OK. I want to query the Harrisonburg based on FIPS. And, and I know that FIPS for Harrisonburg is uh, 51660. So if you ask how do I know that, because I just Googled. So uh, 51006. So now I want to select the county where the FIPS, so that is ID, unique ID of each county, equals this value. And then I run it. So you can see now Harrisonburg is highlighted. That is because this county is not selected. Okay. And one nice thing that in ArcGIS Pro is that you can create a single layer. So here we have multiple layers. You can create a single layer um, from the selected feature. So if you go to data, and you can see that layer from selection. And I click that one. So now you can see, OK, the selected layer is now uh, copied into a new layer. So the select feature is now copied into a new layer. So if you right click, uh, let's rename uh, this layer. So um, you can go to properties. OK, uh, general and let's call it Harrisonburg. And since we are here, uh, so now you can see that this is uh, vector data, so the layer properties has more options. Uh, so let's check the coordination information. So let's go to the uh, source and also spatial reference. And OK, so we can see it all still has, this data also has a PCS um, and also GCS. OK, that's nice. And we hit OK. Uh, and then if we go back to the editor, so let's clear the selection. OK, so that selection is uh, based on these counties. And since now we already have the Harrisonburg, so I no longer need th this one. So I can just remove this one. OK, so now I have the boundary of the Harrisonburg. Uh, so it is not a real boundary because uh, the Harrisonburg area actually is um, beneath this layer. So if I just select the Harrisonburg layer again and I go to this appearance and symbology. Uh, so this is where you can change the symbology. So for example, uh, I want an outline. So I don't want a solid um, place. So I just change the outline. And you can see I just change that one to a black outline. But I, I want to use a different color. So instead of using black, I go to properties. And then I can choose a color here. So you can choose a color that you like. OK, and also you can change the other um, parameters. And then I choose apply. OK. So now you can see, OK, so I have uh, this boundary. So that is very nice. Uh, so
OK, uh, so now we have um, three layers. And if you go to the data source, and you can see that where are they. So the first one is from the US counties. The second one is world imagery that from ArcGIS Online Map Service. And the third one, the word hill sheet, is also from ArcGIS Online. OK, uh, so now we have a map uh, that shows the boundary of Harrisonburg. And also we have a base map. And also we also added the hill sheet effect. Another stuff that I really like in ArcGIS Pro is that in ArcGIS Pro, we can combine the two dimension maps with the three dimension maps. So if now we, we go to the view, and let's say we want to convert, we want to convert this map to a local scene. So local scene all means that we are going to convert this 2D, 2D map into a 3D visualization. So we see to local scene. OK, and let's still uh, go to our bookmark. OK, so this is actually a 3D map. So it, it looks like a 2D, but if you click your middle button of your mouse, and you can see your mouse now change to this icon. And you can just move around. OK, that, that's too much. <clears throat> OK, and now you can see the, uh, the 3D, so the mountains, etc. OK, uh, so that's that's a map uh, in a 2D and also uh, the map in a 3D. OK, uh, so those are some pretty cool stuff um, because I went very slow because this is our first lab. Um, I also have another quick video that um, that is faster than this one. Uh, uh, so if you want to follow another video, so it can you can go to my YouTube channel and also you can find that one. So for our lab, so we are going to capture a screenshot. So to capture a screenshot, what you can do is that. So number one, you can open a Word document. So like a Word document here. So there are two screenshots. Uh, for the first screenshot, you can use the screenshot cap capture tool. So that is in Word document in the insert. You can capture the screenshot. Uh, so that's that's one way. Another way that on Windows is that you can use the snip tool. So snipping tool. And you can capture the screen, okay? And you can save that one. Um, and you can capture the second screen, and you can save that one as well. And put those two images into a Word document, and save that Word document as a PDF, and you can submit on Canvas. Okay, uh, so that is for this lab. So finally, you can make sure that you save your project. OK, and you can close your project. And you can check on your OneDrive folder. OK. You can say, OK, so that's your Lab 1 project. So it, it's already there. Uh, you can also, if you're using your local uh, OneDrive app. Okay, so for example, here I, I installed the OneDrive app on my Windows computer. So you can go to your OneDrive folder. And you can see, okay, so uh, the project is also saved in your OneDrive folder. So later on, when you want to access that one, so you can do you can open that one on your local computer. So if you have ArcGIS Pro installed on your local computer. 
Okay, uh, so that's all for this lab. So finally, uh, remember that you, you can log out your app stream uh, so that you can save the cost. So your session will be finished.